How do we afford this lifestyle? Where do we get water? What do we do when it storms? Septic. This is where all the magic happens. That's how we get internet. Do we get seasick? Where does Ico go to the bathroom? Here's how we do it. Hey guys. Hello. How's it going? Welcome back to our channel. This week we're going to talk about the most commonly asked questions. We kind of get the same set of questions like all the time. If you're new with us, a lot of these topics we've already done like an individual full video on. So I'll be sure to link that in the top right hand corner of each of the topics if that is the case. And also in the description so that if any of these like pique your interest, you can dive in a little deeper. This is gonna be kind of rapid fire. In descending order from seven to one, one being most asked, here we go. Question number seven. How do we afford this lifestyle? You would not believe some of these shameful things that we have had to- I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Look, the fact of the matter is this is a shockingly cheap lifestyle to live. We did a whole video on our monthly expenses, the initial cost of purchasing this place, how much we put into the renovation. We just laid it all out there for you guys. So if you wanna check that out, feel free. But the bottom line is it's cheap. And I mean cheap, cheap. If you can afford a single wide trailer, you could have afforded the house that I'm standing in right now. For the record, just in case you're interested, Brandon is the manager at the marina here and the Harbor Master. And I have been working with the National Park Service for the last five years, but I'm currently transitioning to a new career with an outdoor adventure guiding company. That's what we do for work. Nothing crazy. We don't make a ton of money, but we really don't need to because this cost of living is so low that we're still able to save a ton of money. So how do we afford it? Cause it's cheap. Number six, water. Where do we get water? Well, it's a water spigot. <laughs> We're uh, fortunate enough that this harbor has water run to all the boats. There's just a pipe under water. We use the city water to shower and do some cleaning. But mainly, if we're gonna drink water, we drink lake water. We just pull the water straight out of the lake. This pipe here goes down, this hose goes down a good 30 feet. We yank the water off the bottom and we fill up our water jug with it right here. So whenever it's time to add some water to our filter, we just take this, and do this. Bam, lake water. Number five, what do we do when it storms? What can you do when it storms? I mean, we stay inside. It's pretty much the same thing, you know, I guess with the exception of we make sure to tie everything outside down. We don't always do a great job of that. We've been known to lose things, but almost everything on our deck floats. So we generally find them the next day at some point. <laughs> I mean, we absolutely do get storms here. We get wind regularly, 20, 30 miles an hour. And sometimes during a storm, it, we've gotten gusts up to 60. Being on the water, you do get a lot more wind than you tend to in, you know, on land when there's a lot of other buildings and mountains, trees, whatever, blocking that wind. We've just got like a wide open fetch here. So sometimes it does hit hard. On occasion, it can feel a little bit scary, but I would say 99% of the time, I actually feel like it's really fun. It's kind of exciting and it's just like another aspect of living more in sync and in tune with nature because storms are just a part of it. So the number four question that keeps getting asked is septic. All of our sinks and toilets all go into a big tank that sits under this house. And then once a week, a boat comes by and they hook into this pipe, which goes to the tank, and bam, pressed up, pumps it right out. We're ready for another week. We fill about 40 to 45 gallons a week in our tank. So we're pretty good at conserving water. We don't use a lot of the water here. So this is where all the magic happens, especially in the morning, toilet. This is a macerating toilet, so it grinds everything up, goes straight into the holding tank. Same with the sink and the shower. We use water saving heads. That way we don't put much water into our tank because it's expensive to keep pumping out water. But you have to use this toilet paper in these toilets that your fingers go right through. So we recommend <laughs> that if you're going to have a marine toilet, you always use the toilet paper and then take a shower after. That way you can clean your hands. Oh my God, <laughs> that's not true. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
This is marine toilet paper. Well, hold how, it up to the light. This is how <laughs> strong this toilet paper is. See? So if you go to, oh, oh, yep. <laughs> but it decomposes fast and it doesn't clog your systems up because this is not the same as a house. Number three, do we get seasick? We get variations of this question all the time. You know, how much does the house move? Does it rock a lot? Does it ever make you feel sick? No, no, it really doesn't. <laughs> no to all of the above. You know, if we were in a V-hold houseboat or really just any other kind of boat, we would do a lot more listing. But since we're just on a flat surface, um, we have styrofoam floats under the house and it's just one solid base. It takes a lot you know, to actually like move the house up and down. It happens on occasion if there's like a really big boat wake or something like that, but never really because of just like natural wind and waves. We tend to do a lot of like gliding around, you know, just as much play as our back lines will allow us, maybe 20, 30 feet will kind of move, but we're not really like rocking in that choppy way that kind of makes your stomach churn. I guess how seasick you would get would just depend on how sensitive you are to that kind of thing and for what it's worth i am very prone to motion sickness in the car um it really doesn't take all that much to make me nauseous on the road but either way no i mean neither one of us have ever gotten sick just from being you know at the house okay question number two electricity well we take sunshine we turn it into electricity solar panels, inverters, golf cart batteries, and hope. In the summertime, we have plenty of sun. We don't really worry about power too much. In the wintertime, sometimes we get rain for five or six days, so we'll run a generator and charge our batteries back up. Normally, when we run the generator, we'll go ahead and do laundry because our washing machine will not work off of our solar panels. We don't have that nice of a setup. But most of the time we live off sunshine. Sun makes enough power to run our house. Everything's LED. Sarah doesn't do curling irons and blow dryers. She just goes with that hair that sticks up everywhere. Our biggest pool of electricity now is Starlink and it pulls like 40 to 50 watts. That probably could have been a question in and of itself. Maybe we should have done top eight. That one's for free. That's how we get internet. <laughs> yeah, Starlink's the way we have internet. Where we live, there's no phone service or anything. Last but not least, that finally brings us to our number one most asked question. By a landslide, all the time we are asked this, where does the dog poop? Where does Iko go potty? Where does Iko go to the bathroom? The first thing you need to know about this is that every single dog owner does this differently. So this is not like the way to do it. This is just the way we do it. Almost all of the people that own houseboats in this harbor have dogs and almost every single one of us do this a different way. <laughs> it just depends on the dog. This girl is a dog who thinks she's a bear and by God, she's going shit in the woods. She's not using no AstroTurf mat. She's not going on the pressure treated dock. She's just not into going in the bathroom in developed areas. So here's how we do it. What do you think, Aiko? You want to show them? Is that okay? Okay. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good bear. And we have a little playtime. Maybe dig up some crawdads. What are you doing? <laughs> and then after she's done playing, she'll usually head up into the woods for like 10 or 15 minutes to find a spot to do. And after that, we head on back. And that's really it. We just take her to the bank. It's good space for her to run around and just do dog things. <laughs> Ew. Well, once again, thanks for joining us. Big things coming. Comment any other questions that were not addressed that you're still curious about below and we'll uh, do our best to answer them. And for everybody out there, subscribing's free, so just hit the button. Yes. Sarah's blowing up on TikTok. Okay, yeah. TikTok, I honestly, I did not want to make a TikTok because I feel that it is but ruining the did, society. And she's gotten... But I did and apparently everybody loves us She's there, almost, so. she's been on TikTok for one day and literally about to start getting paid. So y'all... If you're on TikTok, you can find us there. We do appreciate you guys being here. For real. Thank you. Take it easy.